What's going on guys, Sean Gutierre back with another video. Super excited about this one today, guys. I have the rig from Slicker to unbox and check out with you guys. I've been super excited, waiting for this package to come and it's finally here. So let's open it up and check it out. All right guys, so here it is. This is the box that it comes in. You guys can see it says Slicker on the front. I actually had to reach out to my guys and check how to pronounce this. Obviously guys, it is S-L-C-K-R. Slicker, Slacker, I wasn't really sure, guys. It is Slicker, and this is the rig. We're gonna get into this box and see what it's all about. But guys, it is a chest harness that you can keep your tools on. It's supposed to help you guys speed up your time by not having to turn around and grab things off your station. So let's open it up, check out what's in this box. We'll check out the rig from Slicker. All right, so on the top of the box, guys, it says changing the way you cut hair as we continue on our journey to create premium fashion forward solutions. We hope our products will inspire you to create something unique. You guys know my favorite stuff is the unique stuff. 245 does unique, innovative products. And this guy is unique and innovative. So, you know, I can get behind that. But let's check out what all's in the box. I'm gonna set it down and we'll get into it. All right, so right on top, guys, we have a personalized card from my guys at Slicker. I actually met these guys at the Tennessee Barber Expo. I've chopped it up with them for a while and checked out the rig. And honestly, guys, at the time, I viewed it as as much of a fashion piece as it was a function piece. And for me, I actually specifically told these guys, like, man, I'm not the most fashionable guys. You're not going to see me wearing, like, a Gucci over-the-shoulder bag or a Louis V bag, something like that. So for the fashion side, I definitely wasn't really interested just because I don't look at myself as being that fashionable. But for the function side, I definitely could see what they were going for and i'm stoked to have it now to try out so the card says sean it's a pleasure to get this out to you man thanks for being a real dude taking the time to chat with us in tennessee it means a lot please give yourself one and a half to two weeks of use with the rig to fully adjust and make sure to watch the essential education videos appreciate you bro talk soon tyler and ben appreciate you guys sending this out can't wait to check this thing out and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well so underneath that guys there is a card with some qr codes on it these codes will take you to videos to explain some of the things. We're gonna touch on it in this video, but if you guys need more help, it will come with all this information. So you can scan this and see how to adjust your rig, your tool fitting, tips and tricks, and cleaning and care. So guys, this is all on YouTube and probably on their website or linked on their website, but these QR codes will take you straight to it. And underneath that guys, this is basically a certificate of authenticity. It says my name, what I purchased, and where it was made. Guys, this stuff is made in Spain from a leather factory that actually makes products for some of the brands like Louis Vuitton and Gucci and your high-end leather goods from Spain. So I'm expecting this thing to be super good quality. And this is it guys, you see it comes in a nice little carrying bag. If you wanna travel with it, you guys know I'll be on the road traveling for hair shows and different things. So I'll definitely put this to use, but let's take it out and check it out. All right guys, here it is. All right guys, so we're gonna throw this thing on. I actually already worked on adjusting these shoulder straps because it is a little bit difficult. I was trying to do it for the video and doing it with it on. I ended up taking it off and shortening them up to the right length. But I'm gonna throw it on and show you guys how to adjust the back straps. So you guys just throw it over your head like this. You see it'll drop down and without the back straps adjusted, you guys see it can fall down to any height, way too low. So ideally it's gonna sit pretty much centered on my chest, right about here. And after watching their videos, guys, the idea is you snug it down enough, it will actually start to bend and form to your chest. So we're gonna put the back straps on, then we can snug them down and make sure this thing is where we want it. All right, so we got it on, guys. I want it to sit middle of my chest right here, so I'm gonna hold it steady. You guys see we got the straps over here. I'm just going to pull the slack through you guys see we can pull it through this little strap that is on the back. Tightens it up, we'll go to this side, same thing. Give us a little tightness here. I'll actually pull it to the middle now and pull it until it feels like it is centered. I think we're good. All right, so you guys can see it is secure now. It can move just a little bit, but it's not moving around a whole lot and it is against my chest. You guys can see it is pretty tight. The so first feel guys, it feels really good, feels good on the chest. Not too tight, not too uncomfortable, and it's not very heavy. Of course, there's nothing in it, so let's go ahead and load it up. I'll show you guys what all these pockets are for. We'll start off with the bottom pockets, guys. If you can't guess, the bottom pockets are for guards, and you can see the small one on the end is clearly for the smaller guards, and the other end is bigger. So we're gonna do our half guard in the smallest and work our way up to our two. You guys see, I am putting them with the clips out. Obviously, if we turn them this way, 
the clip will be against the leather and we don't want to cause any damage. So I'm going to put the clips out like you can see. You guys just stretch the pocket, put them down in there. You can see I have my guards at the bottom, all nice and snug. And guys, most of the time, these are all the guards that you're going to need for a haircut. All right, next up, guys, we have our scissors or shears depending on what you call them. And those are gonna go in this first pocket on the end. And again, guys, my shears have a adjustment knob. I'm gonna put that out and not in against the leather so we can take care of the leather as best as possible. Next up, we'll throw a couple combs in. You guys see we have this big pocket and the small pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and put these both in the same pocket. So there's my wide tooth comb or my flat top comb and there's my wide spark in the front of that. Next to that, we'll go ahead and throw our straight razor in. You guys see that pocket is perfect for that. And last but not least, guys, these are for our clipper and trimmer. So let's grab the low pros and throw them in there. So we'll go ahead and throw the low pro trimmer on this side. You guys see we got the nice elastic bands to hold them in. They're perfectly snug, no issues there. And we'll throw the low pro clipper on the other side. So boom, there you guys go, fully packed. I got everything I need for a haircut for the most part. Of course, guys, you can't fit everything you need on here. Still gonna need a water bottle here and there, some other things like that. You know, my shaver, probably can make do and find the spot for the shaver. But for the most part, everything you're gonna need is right here. It's definitely gonna save you some time because the majority of what you're gonna use is on your chest. So I'm gonna be right here cutting hair and I'm not gonna have to turn around and grab things over here very much. So even if that takes it down from, let's say 50 times in a haircut, you turn around and grab something off your station and now only 10, think about how much time that's gonna save you guys. This thing also has these straps in front of the pockets. You guys can see, we can actually throw in stuff like our clipper brush or maybe a feather razor. Now you guys see, we can add as much as we want. It's really honestly not much heavier at all. I can definitely feel the thing on, but it's not much heavier and I have everything I would need on my chest right now. So guys, that's all I have to say about the rig right now. I am gonna cut some hair with it for a couple weeks and I'm actually gonna come together after plenty of use and let you guys know what I think about it. But as of right now, guys, I think this thing is super dope. I like how it looks, I like how it feels, it has everything I need on it, but let's get to cutting for a little bit and I'll come back to it in a little while and let you guys know what I think about the rig. Alright guys, so it has been about a week and a half. I have been wearing the rig from Slicker, using it while I cut hair. I haven't really been using it full time, absolutely full time, but I've been trying to use it most of the time. And I definitely have some positives and some negatives that I take away from using this thing. We'll start off with the positives guys. Obviously the main positive, we've already talked about it in the video, is while I'm cutting, majority of what I need is right here on my chest. It definitely eliminates some of the time I have to turn around and grab other things off my station. Obviously guys, like I said, and like you saw in the video, I still have to grab a water bottle or some hair product or another clipper here and there. But for the majority of the time, most of the stuff I'm gonna use is right here in front of me. Another thing guys, and we haven't talked about this yet, but my clients thought it was super cool. It's a conversation starter. Everybody comes in, sees me wearing it, asks what it is. Other clients in the shop were asking what it is. And you guys hear me talk about it with different things like our tools. Clients appreciate that we invest in our equipment. So when they see that I got this new equipment, it just shows them that I take the time to invest in my craft and it kind of helps them feel like they're gonna get the best result possible. The main thing that I'm excited about guys is going to barber shows and classes. You guys know I teach classes and cut on stage at events. And most of the time your clippers are on the bottom of the stage on the floor and you literally have to crouch down and pick them up. I also usually cut out of my GMB Pro bag. So by the time I'm done with the haircut, 
Stuff is everywhere, it's hard to find. I've literally been in the middle of a haircut and can't find my comb, can't find my guard. And so this is definitely gonna help in that scenario. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm actually doing a class next month, February 20th in Fort Worth at Fort Worth Barber Supply. And I'm gonna take this thing and come with it on stage and we're gonna test it out then. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And that's the biggest thing I'm excited about using this in the future. And honestly guys, we talked about that I am not that fashionable and that's kind of why I didn't pick this up at the Tennessee Barber Expo. But I gotta say guys, it does look pretty cool. And like I said, clients have said it looks pretty cool and I feel pretty cool wearing it. I don't know what you guys think. But anyway, it is super dope. Definitely saves time turning around to the station. And if you guys especially like the look of it, I definitely think it's something that you guys should cop. Now for the negatives, and there's not too many, and honestly, it's not really negatives, it's just kind of differences from how I go about cutting. Obviously guys, they recommend taking a week and a half to get comfortable with it. But you guys know that I use my power mat on my station. I also have a hundred different pair of clippers. So a lot of the time during haircuts, I do use multiple clippers. So that is one thing that was an issue for me is I really can't hardly cut with only one clipper and one trimmer. Now I guess I could put two clippers in here while I do the fade and the haircut. And when I get to the lineup, I could pop them out, throw a couple trimmers in. So you guys understand what I'm saying, but really ideally, you can get a haircut done with this. And no question, I can get a haircut done just with these two, but just the way that I cut, if you guys watch my channel, I do like to use multiple clippers during a haircut. So that was something I had to get used to. On top of that, guys, you guys know, I use the 245 power mat, so my clippers are constantly charging. And I did have a trimmer get low battery. And people ask me all the time about battery life on my clippers. And my honest answer is, with the power mat, I literally have never had a clipper die. So keeping it on my chest, obviously they're not charging while I cut. And at the end of a long day, I did have a clipper that was going dead. Of course, I can just swap it out with another one. So again, guys, that's not a negative. It's just a difference from my day-to-day -day cutting. Now, a couple things that I actually do consider a little bit of a negative is my flat top comb. Guys, these are standard size. They are pretty big, but if I put it in the slot that it's for, it hits my chin if I look down. So a little bit hard to get it out without moving my chin. And so I actually decided to just leave this out. Again, that's not a huge inconvenience, but the idea is that everything you need is right here on your chest and a little bit uncomfortable with the flat top comb in there. And one other negative that I saw guys, I actually haven't been using the low pros as much. The Rebel is absolutely my go-to clipper and check out what happens when you pull it out of the rig. So obviously guys, that's not a huge negative. I can easily click it back off, but the difference in the low pro switch, the low pro switch is low profile on the side. It doesn't get caught. And most clippers guys, they do have a switch like this on the side. So obviously I can be a little more careful pulling it out and not catch the switch. But again, guys, the thing is speed here. And so if I'm really having to take a lot of time to get things out of this, it's not really helping with my speed. So that is one thing that I didn't like about it. I actually never put this clipper in here because it was kind of annoying. It takes a little more effort to get it into the slot. And also when I pull it out, it would turn on every time. But anyway, guys, overall, I think this is a must have. I think it's super cool. All the different positives I have greatly outweigh the negatives, guys. The, the negatives are just little small annoyances or little things that I had to change about how I cut. But honestly, the positives outweigh the negatives. I can't wait to use this in Fort Worth. And I really appreciate the guys from Slicker for hooking me up with this. If you guys wanna check it out, I will put a link in the description. You guys check out Slicker on Instagram. And if you guys wanna cop one, let them know who sent you. If you guys wanna come see me in Fort Worth, I will be there on February 20th from one to six. I'm gonna be there with Get Beamed and Yo Fonz. We'll do some hair cutting, some social media, some color enhancements, some crispy lineups. You guys know what we do, so I would love to see all you guys there. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about the rig. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got some cool stuff coming. I literally have a pile of stuff from Filthy Blends in the chair right now that I'm about to record a couple Filthy Blends mods. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Catch you next time.